Hello, this is Bob Hollis with the Mobius Network, and today I'm going to show you how to get around a kind of a quirky thing in Joomla where Joomla really likes to have things on a menu. And so if you create a freestanding article and you don't have a, a menu link or something like that to get to it, uh, it can be difficult to figure out a way to add those links to an article. Uh, so suppose, for example, you don't want something to show up on any top menu, any other menu available to the public. You just want a link to it and nothing else. And for whatever reason, you don't want it to show on any other menus. And this does happen. So uh, what you want to do is you, you need a link from a menu item, but you don't want to show the menu item. So what I'm going to do is I went into Extensions and Module Manager, and I'm creating a new module and this module is going to be a menu and I'm going to call this menu hidden link menu alright and I'll go ahead and show the title nobody's going to see it but us anyway and I'm going to put it in the left side and it's published but I'm going to put it to uh, special access only which is just admins and on pages I'm going to put it uh, only on pages selected and the page I'm going to select is on the top menu first we'll put it on no pages and then I'll put it only on pages selected so that cleared everything out and I'm going to put this someplace again this is for nobody but us uh, just for you know admins and so we don't need to put it anywhere where other people can find it in fact we want to do the opposite of that so um, let's see if there's a place here for here let's say we'll put it under uh, resources this is also already a, a, a special menu item I believe so I'm gonna put it just on this page here called resources and this is the second one it shouldn't even still be called resources in this case but that's where we'll put it for now so it's gonna go only on that page which is only visible to admins so that works out just fine alright so now I've created this menu it's a hidden admin menu yes we want to show the links etc it's on the left side and only on the resources page so now I'm gonna save and close that menu and if I go back out to the home page alright we confirm that that second resources button is not there which is good and so now if I log in however alright this is now set for only email okay now I'm logged in and now this second menu item is showing up and we uh, go to that page oh I bet I didn't uh, actually publish it let's see so if I go to modules and I'll just uh, sort by ID to get it up to the top since it's the most recent one I created All right, so it's public, special, show, left on resources. And if I go out of here, ah, it's not showing because there's nothing in it yet. It won't show an empty menu. So I'll save and close. And now let's say that I uh, want a uh, a link to some particular resource. I'll go into menus and first I need to add a new menu and this will be hidden admin menu Now this hidden admin menu we want to add some things to. So I'm going to add a new menu item. 
and this could be you know whatever it might be let's say uh, a link to an article that would be typical so you might have an article you want to link inside your site somewhere on another page but you don't want that article listed out on a menu anywhere and I'm just gonna randomly pick an article for this demo uh, we'll call it new Kirk committee members well, that's what it's called we'll just uh, demo Kirk article and now that that's there is the menu title we've got it selected we're adding it to that hidden menu it's public that's important we'll save and close and I should point out too even the menu itself actually needs to be uh, public for people to have access to it the menu item titles and articles and that sort of thing so it's important to not restrict those uh, what you basically want to do is just hide the module on pages where you don't uh, you know you, you turn it on for you to see and then turn it off when you're done and when you are done though it has to be set to public so other people can see it so now I've uh, added this demo article and let me go back to module manager hit link menu and when they ask to uh, select I'm going to pick hidden main hidden admin menu Oop. we want the uh, hidden link menu try something here so let me go new and menu Oh yeah, here we are. Hidden admin menu, demo Kirk article. So that is correct. I thought we called that hidden link menu, so I was a little confused there for a minute. Alright. So we call it hidden link menu, but here we actually put it on admin only menu it appears. Let's see what we can do with that. Alright, so the module is successfully saved. It, it's using this menu that we wanted it to now. And now if I go back out to this page and it's got a menu on it and it's in the right place, there's our menu. Now remember this is right now, uh, uh, it's visible only on a s special. So this means that only admins can see it. Now once I go back to this page uh, and I log out, as an admin well this whole thing is going to go away actually but we can't leave this as special after we want to use the link because then when it tries to reach that menu item it'll disappear so now that I've got a place where I can grab a link I just click the link I go up here and say this is my URL I'm copying that and now if I wanted to add that URL to an article I can just go back in and go to my article manager uh, pull up any article and I'll do this just for a second for demo purposes then go back and clean it up it's just gonna link to itself anyway so now what I've got is a nice uh, user-friendly URL that can be used as a link for anything else so uh, here we can put newly appointed members Alright, again we'll take this out when we're done because it wouldn't really be necessary here. So I just highlight that, add my link, and create my settings. The text is already there, and I'll just insert that. There are more settings there, but we don't need to go through all that. Um, so now I've got a link, and I can save and close. And then after I'm done using that uh, menu, which is a, a module, we go to Extensions, Module Manager, and Hidden Link Menu. 
and so as I mentioned we currently had it as special but since we're hiding this underneath a a uh, on a page that's limited to special only we don't need to worry about that we can go ahead and leave it as public nobody will be able to see it anyway unless they're logged in as an admin so now I, the point is that you have to leave this as public uh, you just don't put it on any pages so right now where we have it listed on this resources page since resources is already hidden we don't need to worry about it uh, unless we want to hide it even from the other you know all the other admins that are coming in even they don't need to see this so all we have to do is now turn it off or just not put it on any pages so it's published and it's public it's just not posted anywhere but the link will still work because it's published in public so now that I save it I could go back out here and I'm logged out but if I click refresh now this is linked to my article it's a nice friendly clean URL and of course it just pulled up itself because we <laughs> linked right back to the same article um, but it's also uh, you know it's doing what we wanted to do and let me uh, make sure that I wasn't logged out here so I'm gonna log out now that I'm logged out that whole resources thing disappears and even over here you know it doesn't show at all but if I were to go to that article then that would work just fine and that link will work so that's what I meant by first create the menu put it someplace where only you can see it um, add the links make sure the links are published and public click on a link to capture the URL out of your browser field and then use that URL for the link in your other article and that's how you can create a link in one article to another article um, without adding a link to that article you know suppose it just isn't high enough up to belong in one of these drop downs it's uh, something far below that level of detail so you could use that one menu box to put links to every single article that you might want to link to throughout your website somewhere else but not want to be part of the menu system over here or there and if you've got you know basic things like every time you add an article if you include this you know so that it goes into news and updates you can get your link right from there and then as it goes out of news and updates or just put it in a different category uh, you can do it that way as well the basic point is that you want to get a menu link to the article somewhere so you can click that link and grab the URL you need to use as the hyperlink in the rest of the website wherever you want to use it as articles. So uh, that's uh, the rundown and I'm going to end this recording and then uh, get on the phone with the person who needs some support in this area but now I've got a video that we can use to help them along. That's it. If you need any help, bob at themobiusnetwork.com.